Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking about advice for online students. Now this is very different from students who are physically um, online, like you attend a online institution. These are for students who have a host institution at a campus, but they are taking classes online for that university, if that makes sense. Uh, this was a highly requested video. It's very similar to the situation of people who commute. So you have a physical institution where there is Greek life on your campus, but you're taking your classes online so you don't really have a need to be on campus. That type of situation. So if that is a situation that you're currently in and you're interested in learning more, then keep watching this video. So the very first step that I would recommend for people who are taking their classes online and have no need to go to campus is to find your chapter. There are so many resources on your campus where you can learn more about the chapter. Um, you have your Greek life, you have social media, there are different ways for you to find out who your chapter is and where uh, they're located as far as uh, where where is their office housed or if they have a house, where is the house located, things like that. Uh, there's so many resources where you can find the information. So the very first step would be to find your chapter, find the organization that you wanna join. The next step would be to be active. I know that while you're online, you have no need to commute to campus, but it is very important for you to still make the effort to be active, to let people see you, to be seen, because as you guys know from my previous videos and what I say all the time, how will members of the chapter know to choose you if they don't actually know who you are? You have to build a presence. So whether it's your social media presence or whether you are physically on campus to attend events, I think it's very important to do those things to make yourself be noticed and known because it's very good to build relationships. If you, as you guys have heard me say before, it is important to build relationships and it is very important to make sure that the members know something about you so that, they're know, so that they'll know who they're voting for in their chapter. I need some coffee. Okay, segueing into my next point, building connections. It is very important that you attend events and be active on campus because you have to build relationships. As I said before, members of the chapter aren't gonna vote for people that they don't actually know anything about. So it's very important to build relationships and to make sure that you're known, make sure that people know something about you. So again, being active is very important. Physically attending things if you can. Attend things online if you can. Just make yourself be known. Make them remember your name. Do something to make sure that you have an active presence so that they know who they're voting for and why they should vote for that person. My next piece of advice would be to ask questions, to inquire, to be actively trying to figure out what's going on because while you're online, while you're taking classes and you're not physically on campus, you need to know what's happening. You need to know when the events are, you need to know when they're doing community service, if they're hosting like a meet the Greeks or something. You need to know what's going on so that you can be involved and so that you can make your presence known as well. I know that being online is easier for some people and you don't really have to worry about the face-to-face -face interaction, but it's very important in Greek life to make yourself known because like I said, they don't vote for people typically that they don't know anything about. So it's good to have something rather than nothing. So work on those things. With that being said, with Greek life being your resource, I highly recommend that as an online student, you should use your resources through the Greek life. It's very important because Greek life is in the know. They know the Greek life office, I should say. Every campus has like a fraternity or sorority life office or a student affairs or something like that. Chapters have to report to their Greek life office about any programs they have, any events they have, in any intake seasons that they are planning. So if you don't know where to get started, get started at your local Greek life so that you don't miss anything. They'll also be in contact with the graduate chapter because they have to. Undergraduate chapters cannot run their organizations by themselves. So your resources are going to be in a Greek life office as well. If you'd like to learn more about your Greek life office and how to interact with them, how to learn more, how to use them as a resource, like this video and I'll share with you guys some things that I know from dealing with that whole lifestyle. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you're in the online community and you're interested in expressing interest in joining an organization. Like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm working on my subscribers, so please subscribe to my channel because, believe it or not, I don't have that many subscribers. All this information I put out, I don't have subscribers. So if you've been watching my videos for this long and you haven't subscribed, 
subscribe, join the family, and you're more than welcome to reach out to me online. My new services are up. It is intake season, so I have some services available for you guys to purchase. You're more than welcome to go on there and do that. Kelstales.com, if you don't already know. Check out my Instagram. I hope that you guys found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.